Hello there, did you know? It's just me, Scotty McClure. I'm live in a little town in the west of Scotland called Port Glasgow, because it's the port of Glasgow. Before the Clyde was deepened so that ships could go into Glasgow, ships from all over the world came into the port of Glasgow, hence the name. Port Glasgow, and of course all the sails were made in nearby Greenock and Port Glasgow. It's very famous for shipbuilding and for the rope works, interestingly called the Guruk Rope Works. Now, in 1802, on the Forth of Clyde Canal, a little steamship started because James Watt from Greenock had invented the steam engine. And this little steamship was called the Charlotte Dundas, named after the daughter of the Earl of Dundas. That was 1802. Ten years later, in 1812, in the town of Helensburgh, just opposite the town of Port Glasgow and the town of Greenock, Henry Bell, who was an engineer, designed a little steamship to go across the Clyde called the Comet. And 150 years later, a replica of the Comet was made by Lithgow's, the world-famous shipbuilders in Port Glasgow. And she is absolutely here. Let me turn you around and introduce you to the Comet. Can you see her there? Her name will be backwards, but there is the comet. How amazing is that? So I'm standing in front of the replica of the comet, and she does go across the Clyde. The Lord Provost went across the Clyde. Sir Simpson Stevenson, the Provost of Greenock in 1962, and a lot of other dignitaries went on board this lovely little steamship, the comet. So there you are. There's a snippet of industrial Scotland in the 1800s, right at the height of the Industrial Revolution. Don't forget Henry Bell and the Comet, and don't forget Port Glasgow. This is Scotty McClue saying dinky-doo to every single one of you.